Another three locks to go in this set of five. And then a short distance to another set of three. Or four, if I decide to go through Cropperty and more up afterwards. As there is a shop at Cropperty. tale of Aslan and the gent, have you seen their travels before? Well did you know that they're back again and cruising the canals once more? Sold up, downsized for a minimalised alternative life afloat. Going boldly where thousands have been before, one man, one life, one boat. To quote the boater who helped me through the first lock, this section of the Oxford is simply staggering, but primitive. And that's the way I like it. The way things used to be done. They really were the good old days. Yep, yeah, it's now starting to get uh, rather warm. Expected to hit about 25 C today. Yep, I know. That's nothing compared to uh, 46 degrees in Texas and so on. But this is Britain, you know. The old lock keeper's hut here. And in the winter, they'd have had that fire going. Only venturing out when a boat came along to use the lock. that hot the water's there uh, I can make a cup of tea with this Out of number 19 and straight to number 20. Straight at number 20, pop pickers. <whistles> Not off. It's all for charity, mate.
It's a raging sauna today. Chuck some more water on. A bit more charcoal. It's just not hot enough. Well, this will be the end of this uh, particular flight of five and then a sort of chance to recover slightly with a short stretch to the next three or four. This gate has a non-functioning paddle, so just the one. At least it's at the emptying end and not the filling end. My word, it's nice under this tree. Yeah. Still, little rest now to the next three or four. I haven't checked to see what time the shop's open till, but it's a Sunday, so it's probably Sunday trading times isn't it, it's uh, 4 o'clock, something like that. If it's like a spa shop and open till 10, wow. Though I don't think it is a spa, I think it's just an independent village shop. Oh, it's lovely and cool down here. I wonder if I can moor up here under the bridge, that'll do, won't it? Yeah, that'll do. very sleepy part of the canal there. Boaters no doubt enjoying the shade. I've got to say, I am absolutely, completely blown away by the South Oxford so far. Just staggeringly gorgeous. The scenery, even the moorings. Um, I'd been given various horror stories about struggling to find moorings and all this kind of thing, but yeah. I don't think I've struggled at one place. I've, I've wanted to stop somewhere and couldn't because there wasn't a mooring and that's peak summertime
first of the three locks before property. I said it just a little while ago, but I'll say it again. I am liking this section of the Oxford. Today, it's just suddenly come alive. If only in my mind. In terms of the beauty and the history, the character. Amazing. There you are, I said it. Just one more lock and then I'll be looking to moor up. days without charge that's a new one does that mean you can stay longer than 14 days if you pay a fee last lock and anywhere after this one will do me to moor up. Oh, that's very nice. This gentleman is on another boat and uh, he's, um, he's offered to do the last one for me. Thank you very much. Yes, 
that's it. Anywhere now. Somewhere along this straight. And then I'm only only have about a quarter of a mile to walk to the shop. As I say, probably not today because it'll be shut, I imagine. Once again, my Nicholson guide is showing its age. This marina isn't on there. It's just a field. That's a big old marina. So big it has two entrances. Or an entrance and exit. this doesn't say permit holders only I'm there Let's take a little stroll to Cropperty. I've uh, heard that it's uh, quite a uh, fabulous, very old England village that owes its entire existence to the canal. Still early, but incredibly warm um, breeze. Very nice, it's uh, Mediterranean. That's what I'm gonna call it. Oh, there's a shame. I'd heard they do a nice coffee there. Not to worry. Definite feeling of old England here. Yep, quite fabulous here. Um, but saying that, I can't spend the week here. For a couple of reasons. The most important one for me being that for half a day, Till about half past two in the afternoon, my solar panels are in the shade. And the other reason is that shop. Uh, if I was to buy my groceries there all week, I would be bankrupt by the weekend.
So I'm moving on, around about three and a half miles to the town of Banbury. My first proper town since Coventry. And also where there'll be my first proper supermarket since Coventry. Which was about six weeks ago. Shopping locally for groceries is a fabulous idea, I think, and should be encouraged. Support your local enterprises. However, I find it gets a bit tiresome sometimes, because you just can't buy those things that you really want to get, like fresh meat and vegetables. Just into the lock waiting area by here, and this lady has offered to do the lock for me. Can't be bad at all. Not sure if there's a boat coming up, but I'll wait here, of course. Not a lot else you can do, really, at a lock. One way only, at all times. That was the first lock of the day at Croperty, and now about a mile and a quarter to the next one. Now I'll just fill up the water tank and empty the loo again, I think. That's all the ablutions done. And as I say, about three and a half miles to Banbury. Four evenly spaced locks. And then I hope to moor an area just before Banbury, which I've seen on Google Maps. And as fortune would have it, right opposite an Amazon distribution center. Well, that takes minimalist living to a, an entirely new level.
look on here, Canal and River Trust are doing some works. I hope it's nothing sudden emergency canal closure stuff. Though possibly, judging by the new moorings dotted along, they could be installing the dams at the side to bolt the armco to. Yep, towpath improvements and moorings. Hey, get down here. I know where there's lots of water to drink. I could just sink a pint of cider with several ice cubes about now. I'll be a born again shopper. <laughs> That's about 1,575th on the bucket list. Tick. Next, the pyramids. <laughs>